It could be another two months before Tarrant County students are basically allowed back inside most classrooms unless they can convince local health authorities to perhaps change their mind. Jason Allen leads our coverage. Parents and students facing orders to start the school year at home chanted Monday that it should be their choice. And it is not a one size fits all. I mean, we've got to work together and figure out solutions. The demonstrations come nearly a week after three doctors designated as local health authorities directed public and non religious private schools to stay closed until September 28th. The county judge said Monday only two small school districts and one charter school had voiced any opposition to a blanket order against having students back. But if more schools want that, he told parents to get school boards to speak up. The school boards need to be the ones ultimately making the decision. Parents made the case campus closures not only risk educational growth, but the mental, emotional, and physical health of children. If the safest place for a kid, COVID world, not COVID world, is in, in a classroom. School. Whitley indicated he was concerned about the same things and of the ability of appointed health authorities to make the final decision. I did not feel like that the authority should be given solely to the public health authority. And I basically, in a message and in a conversation left with the governor, indicated that. Be careful what you ask for because they're focused very narrowly on COVID-19. A few parents left encouraged. They may be able to get the health authority to look at reopening plans for certain schools and possibly even bring back exceptions for certain schools on a case-by-case -case basis. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.